Quantum computers might break today's passwords, so how do we stay safe? Here's how quantum proof encryption actually works. In part one, we talked about how quantum machines can crack traditional encryption. So cybersecurity experts designed new locks built specifically to survive quantum attacks. It's called post-quantum encryption. Instead of using math problems quantum computers are great at solving, these use problems that are basically impossible, even for quantum tech. Imagine your old password is protected by a maze, and quantum computers can see the whole maze from above. Quantum proof encryption is like giving them a maze that rearranges itself every time they look at it. These new systems are built on things like lattice cryptography. Picture a 3D grid so huge even quantum computers get lost in it hash-based signatures, digital fingerprints that break if tampered with multivariate equations, math puzzles with too many variables to brute force. The trick is, quantum computers have strengths, but they also have weaknesses. These new methods force quantum computers to solve math problems they aren't good at. The US and Europe already started switching government systems to post-quantum encryption. Major banks, cloud services, and tech companies are next. You won't even see the change. Your apps, your websites, your devices, they'll quietly update behind the scenes. The goal is that you feel nothing but stay protected. This is basically a global race to upgrade the internet before quantum computers catch up. If you want part three, how hackers are prepping for the quantum era, drop a comment and follow.